show you how to get a little bit bluer skies in DXO. Simple way. Go over here and turn on color accentuation over here. Drag the vibrancy up. That'll start putting blue in your skies, as you can see. Very slight. Okay. Drag your saturation up. Then what I do is I go up to Selective Tone. And I start playing with the highlights, mid, shadows. Should bring your highlights down. It's going to add a lot more blue. Bring your mid-tones down so you can really self-destruct the image here. Bring up your shadows a little bit. Try to make it look natural like it was this morning. It was just weird, weird lighting out there. Blacks down just a little bit. Then I'll bring exposure up to probably to like 45. That's pretty much, pretty much it. Yeah, it's got to be leveled. <laughs> you know, this is pretty level here, but then you got your friends on this. Well, this is on a hill here, so. But anyway, what DxO wants you to do to bring blue in your skies is this color accentuation tab here. That's pretty much where it's at. You can do it like Lightroom, bring your temperature under your selective tone and your tint and all that stuff down. That will also definitely pop blue in your skies, as you see. <laughs> all right. Temperature always brings blue in your skies. And you can go ahead with your tint. We're at minus one. All right. There's nine. We're going to go back to minus one. But um, your temperature really will start bringing in the blue in the skies. But, again, what they want you to use on DXO, color accentuation down here. <coughs> Excuse me, with the vibrancy and the saturation. So that image isn't too bad. Now, if I wanted to save the preset, one thing about DXO, if I were to crop it right now, and then save the settings as a preset. When you go to apply that preset to other images, it will crop the other images. Keep that in mind. Because everything that's turned on here is, is what it will do. It's saving all these settings. So you can go ahead and right click. Okay. Create preset from the current settings. Give it a name. Let's say 5555555555. Five, 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 five. Okay. As an example, save it. Oh, now we have a new preset over here called 55555. Five, 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 five. So as an example, let's go to our before and after here. So on this image, we want to add 55555. Five, five, five. There it is. Now it's not going to work on an image. That made that one look horrible. So you just control Z and undo it. Um, in, in this area here was a different picture, different lighting. This is pretty much exactly how it looked. We had a weird sunshine coming through, kind of a cloudy background. It wasn't that blue, so I'm not going to make it overly blue and disgusting. And this is wet and freshly done. So this is like a dark black with a nice shine on it. So that's how we did that. But this one here, now if we wanted to apply that preset here, see if it worked. Again, it's a different side of the lake. Different lighting, we could try 555, double click it. There's before, there's after. Both of them don't look good, they have to be redone. Um, this looks a little better, but this color of this bench is totally off. All right, so that's just an example on what you can do to get a little blue in your skies, bang up your image just a little bit. Now that the preset's already saved, I can come down here to Horizon Tool. All right, and I can adjust my horizon a little bit. All right. And so we got a little bit of tree up here. I can then take that tree out, crop that down a little bit there. I want to bring this up. All 
and there we go. <clears throat> then we can go ahead and export that image.